aquele cara tá maluco. Copy now. Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find the ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak that security instead. Doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. side Alguém chama a segurança! 
We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might be us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What we imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. To direct the beam. To enthrall the world. To speak the words. 
Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. could not find a way, but forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. First we wanted to learn if our work would succeed, but the answer was always the same, so we moved on to other things, but she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the Apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the Apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful.
I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell.